Friends in Recovery, the Addiction Recovery Podcast, is brought to you by the Friends in Recovery Community, a thriving network of individuals who are fighting back against the stigma of addiction. Join our hosts as they speak up about the real issues of addiction, treatment, and recovery. Friends in Recovery, the Addiction Recovery Podcast, is available on Facebook, Podbean, iTunes, and YouTube 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now, here are your friends in recovery. Welcome, everybody, to Friends in Recovery Podcast with Jersey Ed. I'm your host, Jersey Ed, along with my two co-hosts, Buckeye Bambi and Beth. Backwards. That means backwards Beth, right? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, ladies? How's everything going, going this week? I missed y'all so much. I miss you so Two much. Weeks I wasn't with you. Oh my I gosh. Know. You're Beth lucky I, you didn't implode. I know. Beth oh, and I, I had to like do everything ourselves, right? Yeah, it was rough. I was contacting the guests every day before the show. Come on, <laughs> give me a break, Ed. Well, the hardest part was when I had to push the the, the record for the tapes. No, we don't. No, use I remind him every week. I was like, "Don't forget to record." I know. I know. We're that recording would have been now, bad. Right? That would have been bad. That would have. Been, well, would have Carl would have nothing to do then. No, he would have to extra because he'd have to go on Facebook Live, and yep. then yeah, it would be it would be bad scene. So yep. it's all around that we're uh-huh. we're doing well. So welcome back, Bambi. We did miss yeah. you. I know your your life is a little chaotic now with some moving and uh, all that good stuff, but it's uh, it all works out in the end. And, uh, I can tell you that from a, a year later that, uh, I don't even think about that moving anymore. So oh, thank um, God, it, I'm hoping. guys, it is the last day for adventures, um, here on friends and recovery podcast. So where it is still adventures month and we have a great guest. Um, he is Bob M we're gonna bring him on in a minute, but he's a person in recovery an ultra marathon runner. And in my eyes, all around good man, Really good man. And uh, we'll talk more about that. Um, so stay tuned for some great recovery. Um, if you want to give a call and tell us about your adventures, um, that's 800-989-6504. Or you can email us at help at friendsandrecoverypodcast.com. You can go to our website, friendsandrecoverycommunity.org or below. You'll see all of our email addresses. Email us directly. And we are looking for an intern, guys. And I was told it's a banana hammock, not a bikini. Okay. <laughs> Ladies, can you smile, please? So Carl doesn't yell at me. Carl's going to love this one. Carl's going to love that one. And Carl, they're smiling. So no, I'll kidding aside. We do need an intern. Um, you know, we've been asking for a while now. Obviously, nobody watches or listens to this fucking show. So I don't even know what the fuck we're doing here. Because <laughs> we should have it. Realistically, we should have had an intern by now. Anyways, um, so that's that. Look for us on all of our social media, um, friends and recovery community. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and hit that little dingy button. Turn the notification bell on. Yeah, yeah. Didn't we, did, Beth? Didn't we decide the dingy button was our guest decided the dingy button was the correct and the best way to explain yeah. the dingy button. However, everyone watching on YouTube knows it as a notification bell. So we will continue to say notification bell slash dingy button. Beth, it was much better without Bambi here. We like the dingy bell. I don't know. Don't say it's better without Bambi. That's a lie. No, no. I'll stop scheduling guests, damn it. That's right. Then we'd have to look at each other. Yeah, that would be bad. God. Well, anyways, uh, it's it's heart time in. Beth, she's back to get the fucking hearts. So here we go. Purple hearts for Bambi. Hearts. Um, black hearts for Beth and uh, blue hearts for Jersey Ed. And of course, our guest, Bob M, is going to be red hearts. So we always have our guests for red hearts. Uh, <laughs> like black soul. That's it. That's it. Bob can speak, guys. There he is. Um, I'd like to thank all of our donors who made this show possible. And don't forget, Friends and Recovery Podcast is part of the Fire Network. For more information on both of those things, go to friendsandrecoverycommunity.org. And please feel free to um, reach out to us. You know, donations are really important to keep all this going. So if you have it in your heart, if you're listening, um, you know, I know we joke around a lot, but um, if you can uh, possibly make a, a donation, um, 
we we would really appreciate it. So, uh, and you go to our friends recovery community.org for that. So, ladies, here it is. It's sober shout out time, which we made it to rather quickly. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> um, so sober shout outs, guys, email us at friends recovery podcast.com. If you want us to put a sober shout out on the air for you, um, make sure you do that. And um, Bob, do you have a sober shout out? He's not paying attention. Yeah, That's okay. um, yeah, I'm paying attention. I'm right here. I can, yeah, my uh, best friend's fiance, uh, Jake, has eight days today. Jake, eight wow. days. Oh, way to go, Jake. All right. All right, Jake. Eight days for Jake. Congratulations. Bambi, since you haven't been here and you're like a guest today, um, <laughs> let's let her go second. You know, I should have a whole bunch of them, but y'all know I am like stressed to the max getting moved, um, yes. which is going to be a good thing. But anyway, I d- have not kept track of them, but I will just give a, I did this once before, but a sober shout out to everyone that has helped me out during this move um, as far as hosting meetings and all that good kind of stuff, because it's been, we're going on what, three, four weeks now of this move and it'll finally be done next Thursday. We're out of here. So that's it. Congratulations, Bambi. It's really hard. Although we have no home. And it's funny because um, one of our our people, our regular people, CH, she said, Bambi, you have to stop saying homeless because I say I'm going to be homeless as of next Thursday. She says, there's really people that are homeless and they might get offended. I said, well, CH, I always make sure I go homeless, you know, in the little air quotes, because I literally, it's the first time I've been without my own home since I was like 20 years old. Wow. So wow. we're going to be living in an Airbnb. So I wow. felt, listen, we moved from one house to the other. And I spent that entire day with this really deep seated feeling of homelessness. Mm. It really is, isn't it? It's mm-hmm. weird. Oh, so Joe. And then well, to decide what you're, I mean, we're going to be there two to three months, right? In an Airbnb. Everything else is going to be packed in a pod where it's not accessible to us. Well, mm. if we want to access something, it's like 150 bucks every time you need to go into your pod. Oh, yeah, forget well, it. Pod is so packed. There's no way I could find anything in it anyway, right? So what do you take with you for three months, that two to three months, and, and you that you that it's yours? That's all you can take with you. Arts, arts and crafts. Is that and the question of the week, Bambi? No, that's not the question. I, it should be, right? I'm sorry, but it should be. <laughs> what do you pack for... Two to three months of your life that fits in the back of a car. I'm, I'm sending you away tomorrow morning for two weeks. I can tell you what I can't, what I, what I packed for them. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the packing show. I'm Jersey Ed, and here's how we move. <laughs> and Please, Bob, can I pay need, your house for you. should have done that. I needed that help. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> This is the moving. This is the moving podcast with uh, Jersey Ed. Um, so I don't. Get it, I don't, Ed. I don't pod, even know if, what's pod, that. Podcast pod, pod moving. Pod. Oh, that's an idea, right? Why don't we? Why don't we scrap this show and do like a moving pod podcast, right? Hi, Bob. Sober pods taken. We could do a moving pod, and and we can talk about all the. Uh, the bullshit that goes on. <laughs> Anyways, the let's move on. in my life. So I'm not sure if there was a sober shout out or not in that. I wasn't, I can't remember, but was All there? the people that have helped me out during this All move. All right, there you go. All the people that helped Bambi out in this move. Jill including... and Suzanne and Sally. And I mean, people that have just picked <clears throat> Tony, people that have picked up extra meetings when I Absolutely. couldn't jump in there. So. Absolutely. Yeah. And let's give Matt a sober shout out for dealing with all the behind the scenes stuff. <laughs> yeah. You know what he says this morning? Like, Beth, you have to hear this. So I say, listen, I have my meeting from seven to eight because we're on central time. And then we're doing two back to back podcasts. He said, and I'm sure he's thinking it's Ed that did this, right? He said, who was the idiot that scheduled two podcasts? <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. The idiot. I'm the idiot, but thank you. That's right. That's it. So, all right. So that's Matt and and everybody who helped Bambi out. So, uh, Beth, do you have any sober shout outs? My boss. Boss. My boss. I did a ride along with my boss, Julia Latimer, and (laughs) she's just very patient with me. And I've been having a real hard time being a normal person at work. So (laughs) shout out to my boss for being my boss. I mean, it can't right. be people. 
Yeah, there there are some special bosses in this world, and uh, I know uh, I know I have one too, and I know you do, Beth. So yes, absolutely. Um, and uh, let's see. Oh, so my sober shout out. The only thing I have is, of course, sober pod. Carl and Chelsea. Um, and you know what, guys? They I, I've been listening to their show because I'm back out. I'm walking slash a little bit running. Um, and I've been listening, catching up on all the podcasts on, on all sober pod podcasts. And Carl really um, I mean, he does a great job of talking about us on his show and not just saying, Oh, yeah, go listen to Friends of Recovery. Just a heart the, the last show that I listened to is just a heartfelt um kind of um, hey, go listen to Friends in Recovery. It really was. I mean, I was I was almost in tears. You know? <laughs> so, Carl, thank you so much for those sober Thanks, shout outs. Carl. And, uh, you know, we really appreciate it. And, um, you know, you, your 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 show is an inspiration to me. Absolutely. You know, 100 um, percent. So we appreciate everything you do over there. So our audience please go listen to Sober Pod. You know, guys, just just turn on turn the channel to the left. And go listen to Sober Pod. Also, I need you guys to get on um, was it Amazon? And the link will be below. I want a record this week of buying Carl's book. There it is, 366 fucking days sober. Okay. And um, the other thing too, over at Sober Pod, they read every week, they read and talk about that, that um that day that they read, and it's really, really good. So if you want to read along with them, the book doesn't cost much at all um please go over there and 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 just and support um you know silver pot and and what they do over there too just like you guys support us so look for all that link in the um in the show notes and let us know that you bought the book you know be proud of it um i think you can go on silver pods website and post a picture this week of the book so please do that too and make sure you maybe highlight friends in recovery or, or hashtag friends in recovery on there that let them let sober pod know that we, that we have their, that they have our support. So we love you guys over there. So that is it for my sober shout outs. I don't really have any more, but I think that was enough. And don't forget we have twice daily, a meetings on zoom. You can find them on our website and that is just below. So guys, here it is. It is time for, Question of the week. Question of the week. Is guys, all right. I was getting closer, guys. Close. We got. We almost, almost in sync. So, um. So the question of the week, and we didn't tell Bob this, but we're gonna spring it on him, and we'll let him go last, so he, he can, can think about it. Flow. That's right. Yeah. So the question of the week, guys, because it is Adventures Month, we try to work our questions around um, the, the the topic of the month. So where do you find your inspiration? Like for anything you do, because I was thinking about this, like where do you, for what? Like, well, whatever your passion is, I guess. Where do you find your inspiration for work? Where do you find your inspiration for play, life, whatever it is? So where do you find your inspiration? How do you find it? So um, Bambi, you want to go, you want to go on that? We want to hit that one first. I do. Um, I, for me, and, and this is why I'm moving <laughs> is my best inspiration. I'm telling you, there is nothing like sitting on the beach for inspiration. Mm. Um, and that's why I'm going to live right by the beach because it's like, there you go. I mean, come on, you've got the, the sounds of the ocean. You've got the, the clouds, you've got the, oh my God, it's just, and the breeze blowing in, I can come up with some good shit sitting on mm. the beach absolutely that is a good place for inspiration good place to meditate good place to to do everything everything have sex under the boardwalk no don't wrong show. say that don't encourage matt <laughs> not once shut up it <laughs> matt take her under the boardwalk matt <laughs> uh we, i mean i used to drink and drug on the beach i mean we used to do everything on the beach right i mean come on <laughs> anyways no yes i agree with you baby that is a good place to get inspiration beth how about you what, where do you find your inspiration at I've been thinking about this. I thought I think I find my inspiration a from hearing what other people are doing and accomplishing. And the other thing is just the energy of being around my sisterhood. Mm. It's that chemical reaction and getting empowered and getting. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's just that we're right. We're all just energy and sharing that energy. So. Yeah, absolutely. So other people, you find that inspiration through other people 
especially in your network. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. That is a, that is a sign of a person in really good recovery. So <laughs> thanks, Beth. <laughs> I said something nice about you. See, there you go. So let me check that box off. Nice word said about Beth. Go back to normal. (laughs) Back to regular. (laughs) Go back to regular. No, I'm kidding. Bob, how about you? Where do you find your inspiration, Bob? Find it through my running, Mm -hmm. but also find it through the kids that don't have a future that I work with. Mm -hmm. Um, that I'm running this upcoming 200 mile race for. Mm. I mean, they have dreams, they have wishes, they get to have those granted and then her family loses them. That's Mm. that's fucking inspiring. Mm. And I think a lot of times we look outside of ourselves instead of looking at ourselves in the mirror and being inspired by ourselves every day Mm. for what we've overcome and who we're becoming. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that, that is a good, I mean, ourselves and, and those people who may not be as fortunate as us, or, or like Bob said, the kids that may or may not make it out there, you know, and all the, and, you know, so that is absolutely inspiring. And, uh, you know, thank you for doing all you do, Bob, for those kids. And, and, uh, we really appreciate it. So, um, I find my inspiration guys, in nature number one i love Mm -hmm. being out in nature i love being running in the woods i love we have a bob knows this we have an estuary down the street and it's a it's a nice long if you go out and back it's 16 miles and it's nice and uh secluded you go through everything it's just really really nice out there so that's one and the other thing too is um two things bob bob inspires me for my running piece right and um you know the things he, the, you know, the way he runs and the things he does, he does in his, in his life and the way he does them. Um, that's it's, it's really inspiring to me. And also sober pod. I love sober pod. I really do get a lot out of the sober pod podcast. 100% sober pod definitely inspires me. So that's kind of the three different ways. And it's funny how we all have different ways of being inspired by a person, by persons, by maybe some people struggles by, you know, people who help help us. It's just amazing how we are all inspired different ways. So thank you guys for answering that question. And here we go, guys. I don't know how this show is going to turn out after this, but up until this point, it was pretty good. good. <laughs> it can Make only get better from there. From here on That's, out, it. Right? That's it. But before we do that, Bambi, I want you or Beth, one of you guys read today's um, 366 fucking days sober. Um, whoever wants yeah, to read fam. it. Okay. So today's 366 days sober. Fucking in boot. I know, but you know, in Buddhism, I said it for you. <laughs> there are four noble truths, all of which deal with suffering. The four noble truths, put simply, suffering exists. It has a cause, it has an end, and it has a cause to bring about its end. Even simpler, all life is suffering. It seems bleak and dark, but it is true. We deal with pain, grief, disappointment, loss, hurt, anguish, etc. So much suffering. When we acknowledge the suffering and turn towards acceptance rather than denial, we move towards the solution, growing towards a better understanding of suffering and learning what it has to teach us. When we embrace the suffering and move into it, we learn to accept it. That is the lesson of the Four Noble Truths, to learn to identify our suffering, know where it comes from, and know that we can change it and that it does end. In the meantime, suffer well. The reflection for today, are you embracing your suffering? Do you suffer well? And the daily challenge is, what is one thing that you can do today to embrace your suffering? I love that reading, guys, because um, it it really, um, to me, and this is, I'm going to bring Bob on for this one, because I know the suffering he's been through. But I know the growth that he's had through all that suffering in his life, because him and I are uh, very good friends and we we talk about that. We also he's been on our podcast before. And also another another part of suffering and it has to do with the Adventures Month is all the training, all the running, you know, the 200 mile race, you know, that's suffering through that. But the outcome and the growth at the end of that. Right, Bob, 
is just amazing. So, Bob, welcome to the show. We love you, and uh, we're always glad to have you here. You know, I'm always busting your chops, but, um, you know, welcome to the show. And uh, (laughs) what was your thoughts on that reading, if you don't mind? Can you read it again? (laughs) (laughs) That's a good thought. (laughs) It is. um, I'll never have to suffer like I have before. And I go through that, you know, mm-hmm. um, all kidding aside, you know, at times when I was homeless, this is what I had. What you saw is what you, I had clothes stashed at this trap house, at that trap house. Mm-hmm. Um, then every day was an adventure back then, a fucking adventure. Cause I didn't know one day I'd work day labor and have cash in my pocket and be just all right all right i got 68 dollars. that's what i made eight dollars for food the rest for dope soon enough 68 was gone and i'm fucking eating out of a pizza dumpster again yeah. um that's fucking adventures mm-hmm. um yeah. and i know i was training with one kid who in California recovery. He likes he likes his weed and whatever. Okay. And, you know, you know that pain, you know that pain you get, Bob, when you're at mile 70, 75 of a hundred mile race. You know, there's no nothing better than hitting my dugout. He said, What do you do? And I said, dude, when I'm feeling that fucking pain, I remember I'll never rummage through a dumpster again. Mm, yeah rotten fucking potatoes to eat them again. And he stopped in his tracks and just said, whoa, that's deep. Mm. But I know I'll never go back. Mm-hmm. That part of the adventure of my life is gone. You know, um, I have a really good mentor and friend. I uh, coached me for a while and I used to get so stressed before every race, 5K, 10 a half marathon, marathon, hundred mile race, just fucking stress beyond the Jesus. Hmm. And he said, mellow up, Bob, treat every race as an adventure. Hmm. I have no stress in races. Hmm. They're adventures. Yeah. I get to do some really cool shit. You yeah. know? Yeah. And, and that I is jump, true. I jumped oh. in a hot okay. tub bowl of whipped cream. I, I got to jump in a hot tub full of whipped cream sprinkles and fucking gummy bears with a four-year-old little girl that's dies and God's got me on that fucking plant. I don't know. You know, um, mm-hmm. those are the adventures I do. The running's just running. Mm-hmm. It's the fucking shit that connects me through the running, mm-hmm. the people that I meet. I, you know, I ran with a blind and deaf veteran twice for a hundred miles mm-hmm. and got him to the finish line. Wow. I, I don't know why, you know, I don't know why I'm fucking alive sometimes. Mm. It's so much stupid shit to beat myself, mm-hmm. you know, and then I get to do these cool ventures. I get to jump on a plane and come visit you. And that's in a fucking adventure. <laughs> well, that's, the only, the that's the only way. That's the only way. adventure. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. That's the only way you can get to my house is jump out of a plane and land on the landing <laughs> right. pad outside. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm on an island, Bob. I like how you said. You know, my life is an is a diff, different adventure today, right? And I'm sure each one of us here can attest to that. We did have. Let me tell you, there was some adventures way, way, way back when versus adventures today and um, the adventures today. And and I like about how you brought up. It just doesn't have to be a running. There's there's other adventures in life. You know, there's things that that we do and and things were, you know, that brought us to where we're at today. And I and I have to and I'm, I have to I have to second that. I don't know why I'm al- still alive today. You know, all the shit I did, I I shouldn't be here. And I'm not the only one, I don't think, that that thinks that way, you know, um, some way or another. I mean, you know, our adventures way back when probably don't look the same, but they all probably could have ended up the same, you know. And think about it. We had to do exactly what we did and and go through the pain and suffering to be in this show right here, right now, talking about 
the way life is much better today. You know, we had to do that. So, um, you know, Bob um, and ladies, you have any questions? You know, he's talked about jumping out of plane, 200 mile races. I mean, doesn't that impress you? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I got to tell you, what really impresses me is him really talking about the 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 underbelly of life mm -hmm. and that, yeah. you know, this is all I have. I've been there. And I think that I forget where I've been and I get caught up in, you know, the credit card debt or I get caught up in the, you know, the house doesn't look the way I want it to, or, you know what I mean? Like I have a house, mm. like I, I have a car, the air is low. I've been sitting there. Like I got to get the air in the tire. The air is low, but it's like, dude, you have a tire. Like hey. wake up. Mm -hmm. Like, what are you doing? Like, why am I so stressed about the leaves in the pool? So uh, Bob, I'm like super impressed. Like, and dude, I want to talk to that guy. That's, I mean, I guess it'd be a little hard, but blind and deaf and running a marathon. Like what? A hundred miles. A hundred miles. He's, hundred miles. he's got a, he's got a cochlea implant. So the, the craziest thing though, was the day before his first hundred mile race, he lives in Florida, but he was up at his mom's house in Akron. And and he wanted us to come over and go over. He was nervous. He never ran that far, obviously. Um, I had run a marathon with him in 2016. And he's got twin boys, and they were toddlers. Then. And when we got to the house, I just see him sitting at the table holding his kid. And I knock on the door, and he just sits there. And I'm like, fuck. So I knock a little harder and he gets up <laughs> and he comes to the door and just answers and just his little, his, you know, he just, he just standing there holding his toddler in his, you know, blue prosthetics, just staring at me, but he can't see. And I'm mm. thinking, this is a crazy day and age. And you just open the door and you're blind with your kid. Mm. That's what I'm thinking. And I'm like, Hey, Aaron, it's me. And he said, Hey, Bob, come on in. And I go to tickle his little boy and i go hey is this wyatt or owen and he says you know bob they're not talking yet i never know who i'm holding that's wow. life wow that's life yeah wow. and, and i said and i said where's michaela that's his wife and your mom oh they're out shopping i said you do this by yourself he said these are my kids i'm gonna raise them no nanny will raise my kids mm -hmm. for me wow mm -hmm. And that was, that was in 2020. In 2022, we ran the second 100-mile race, and now the boys are talking. And the, the, just the adventure of that race with him telling me how, yeah, we're starting to play a lot of hide-and-seek, but there's so much doggone better at seeking than me, Bob. <laughs> I love it. It makes light of everything, you know. Oh, I get I to do those. Goodness. Yeah. We for get whatever to, reason, we get for whatever to today, reason, right? I get to do those things. Yeah, I don't know yeah. what his plan is, but I'm here and I do that kind of shit every day. Yeah, yeah. I get, yeah. To. get to. We get to. Yeah, that's that's the important part of it. We get to today, and you know, we we get to do a lot of things. You know, we get to run. You know, let's let's break it down real simple. You know, Aaron, and I don't know if he's in recovery or not, but he gets to hold his baby today he gets right. this you know yep. he gets to talk to them he gets to hear them and, and know who they are you know we can look at our lot you know i mean you know there's always um you know there's always somebody with you know my holes and you ever see that there's a commercial whatever it is there's somebody with holes in his shoes or or i need new shoes and then the next picture is you know there's somebody with no no shoes you know i mean no no feet at all so you know like we bitch about not having shoes well you know there's people that do you know a lot more maybe not having legs or feet or whatever and or sight or or hearing you know this is a man who runs a 100 mile race you know what you know and you you ate you helped them obviously and but still you ha you have to go through all that you know and that's the adventures in life and and you know bob what um what uh, what adventures are you going through now um now that you're sober um you you have a very successful painting company now i remember when you were struggling a little bit at the beginning when we met you have a very successful um uh painting company you have a much larger place you're living in <laughs> than when we met um and uh you know I was, I was, 
I was homeless. Just right after we met, I became homeless. Yep. Lost, I remember that. Lost, yep. Relationship fell apart. I had to <clears throat> get a homeless voucher. And I had to sleep in the homeless shelter for a night, mm -hmm. you know, in sobriety, in sobriety. And I, you know, mm -hmm. the greatest thing that happened was I didn't get a veteran's voucher or I would have rested on my laurels. Yeah. And I just started working hard and picked up my running. I traveled, picked up my running. I traveled and work came in because my work speaks for itself mm -hmm. um yeah you know, i was up i was up at 2 30 this morning to get 22 miles in before i came to work wow and i got, and I got 26 mm -hmm. tomorrow and then finally tapered down to august 5th and then 200 mile race there it is um yeah. farthest race i've ever ran no. What's when's the date um, get, for you? When's the date with, for the, the the race, August, Bob? August fifth, and August it happens 5th. to be my mom's eighty second birthday, and my first hundred mile attempt was August fifth of two thousand fifteen, which was my mom's birthday then, and we weren't talking. Um, mm. I didn't finish that race. I had to quit at mile eighty six. Mm. Well. I don't um, think that I, I, but, I have so, to disagree with you. I don't think that's uh, quitting. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I think that's, you know, that's, a, that's uh, achieving. So. Yeah. It, it's all in perspective. I didn't mm -hmm. go out there to run 86 miles. I ran out, there, went out there to run a hundred. Mm -hmm. I was, I was thankful that I was able to go 86, but I didn't finish the race. I didn't cross the finish line. That's okay. I mean, I, sometimes I also all... learned. I also learned it was through suffering, and I learned from that. I learned, you know, I've ran twenty eight hundred mile races. I've not finished ten of them, and I've learned more from those ten failures than the eighteen finishes. That's right. Amen on that one. And that's what life is about. That's what we do today. That's why we said these adventures, right? This is why we, we wanted to have Adventure Month. And and Bob, I think you're doing a wonderful. Uh, job of closing it out you know you were talking about the underbelly of your uh, of your adventures the homelessness of your adventures the um the the good things the 100 mile races the 200 mile races the people you get to help in recovery there is an adventure always going on but we have to decide what that adventure is going to be is it going to be good bad because life is an adventure don't think it's not number one number two it's what we make of it and how we make of it you know what i mean um <clears throat> bob we're going to do some closing words here um, I, we know your story. We know all that. You know, if you guys want to go back, Bob's been on the show at least two or three times. He's been on other podcasts. Um, the, uh, uh, the first responders podcast, and, uh, we really appreciate everything. Number one, I want to thank you for your service. Number one, number two, I also want to, um, thank you for everything you've, you've, you've helped me personally with. Um, and I'm sure there's a countless number of people out there that probably would love to get in line and thank you too. You do more for people people than I've, than anybody I've ever seen out there, seriously. And, um, you know, I, I, I just, I'm just proud to be your friend. I'm proud to be, you know, a, a, a brother in recovery. I'm um, just proud of all that. And, and, you know, just keep doing what you're doing because if you don't, my inspiration is going to go kind of downhill. So, <laughs> but what's Thank your you. just, um, and ladies, you have any other questions before we get Bob to give us uh, some, some, some closing words? I'm just enamored. I love Bob. I want Bob to come on more often. Yeah, if you would be, if you, he's come on our friends in recovery uh, meetings and shared his experience, strength and hope with us. And um, it, it never, you, you would even that you've only heard a little bit of it. If you yeah. heard his whole story and, and how he's come back. And I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty damn amazing. So, Absolutely. and he happens to have a, a really good girlfriend right now too. I would say that. <laughs> yeah. Well, we don't know Bless if that's public. That. We don't know if it that's is public. public. It, it is. Do you see his Facebook post? Yeah. Yeah. Public. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. All right. Yep. See, I, I didn't know that. I didn't know you and Holly Berry were out and and in the public now. <laughs> <laughs> the first, the first, yeah, the perks of dating me. No, and and the perks of her dating me is she gets to be the hot one. <laughs> Always a hot one, Bob. A hot one. Yeah, he's a smart man. 
Oh my God, Bob. So on, on, on the adventure, I like all your adventures you were talking about, but give us something to close with maybe your best adventure in life, maybe what adventures are coming up or, or just something out there to, to close this adventure month with, with some kind of not words of wisdom, but just something that'll, that'll help us through, uh, you know, the next, the next day. <laughs> Uh, well, probably the greatest adventure was making amends to my parents and talking to them before they passed. I mean, my yeah. father's 88. My father's 88. My mother will be 82 on August 5th. And I mean, that was an adventure in and of mm -hmm. itself because of my pride, because of everything else. You know, um, I think the greatest inspiration is just to look up when something happens and say, who me, not why me. Who me, God? You think I can carry this out? You know, when 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 he gave me cancer back in November, all I thought was, well, the reason he gave me this is because I've been a whiny bitch, and he's reminded me how quick he could take everything away from me. You know, and thankfully, mm -hmm. in May, I'm in remission. Mm -hmm. less than five months after my surgery i'm gonna be running wow. a 200 mile race and yeah. it's just like who me what what else is there you want me to do yeah yeah that's you look up and say why me mm -hmm. i love that not why me who me bob's fading in and out here you do that oh. you just bob you're gonna be a whiny bitch <laughs> you're you're to get you're, to where you you're breaking be. up a little bit here, Bob. Can you hear me? Um, you're, you're breaking up. Um, so on that, I do want to say um, can you hear we, me? we heard a little bit. Yeah, yeah, we heard a little bit of with with, with that. So um basically uh -huh. Bob was saying, me? Yeah, we got you. Sorry. We got you. All right, we're gonna we're just gonna we're gonna we're, hang hang in there, guys. Um I you am, can you hear me now? Yeah, it's it's tough. So we're gonna close here. Uh, in a minute um just it's just getting hard to understand ladies i just uh any last thoughts anything before we close anything you know like bring him back, said, bring him back with a better connection yes totally we'll bring him back with a better connection absolutely we'll definitely get him on a better connection but here in, in the i want to give you guys the word of, of bob okay this is what i hear all the time fuck ad addiction fuck cancer and and fuck aids he beat them all he beat them wow. all right that is a man that's that's just amazing, right? He beat them all. So, Bob, we love you. I know you can't hear us, um, but it's a uh, it's a little a little tough there. But um, you know, I, I just uh, I'm just so proud to be his. You know, I'm so proud he is my mentor. Actually, so um, it's a little weird show because of the uh, the the in and out of everything. But it is the last adventure show, guys, and um, ladies, you don't have to talk about adventures anymore. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I just skipped half the month, so I was good. She did, she did. Yes, Beth, you could skip half the month. Adventure. Exactly, exactly. Well, guys, until next month when it's going to be rejuvenation and rest, rest and rejuvenation month. Um, until then, stay sober, everybody. This concludes this episode of Friends in Recovery, the Addiction Recovery Podcast. Follow us on Facebook for past shows and updates and enjoy free access to twice daily support meetings. Friends in Recovery, the Addiction Recovery Podcast is available on Facebook, Podbean, iTunes, and YouTube 24 hours a day, seven days a week. <laughs>